Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So I have something super interesting today. We're going to look at what's the difference between total, all and um, bracket one. I think this is um, kind of confusing sometimes. So I thought that this would be a super interesting way to um, have a look at what really happens. So we have sales for different products and then we have our total here. We have all here, we have bracket one here and bracket one total here and then percentages. So let's really see what is going on and when we should use uh, which one of these. So if you're interested, stick around. So what here we have our common column that is sales. It is just sum of sales and then we have total. So over here total is nothing but sum and then you write total sales all is nothing but sum all of sales otherwise sum bracket one sales and then bracket one total sales so what's the difference between these well now we have our product names and uh, what sales does is it sums up the sales for each product here based on our dimension and the same here so we have product names as our dimension and the sales is just summing up the sales for each of the products based on the dimensions what is total doing now total ignores all of the dimensions instead it says sum of sales of total sum of total sales so it sums up the sales of all of them and gives you the number so it's going to be the total sales here is the same as for each of the line and why is this helpful well if you want to look at the percentages of runner shoes compared to the total sales then you would do runner shoes divided by total and this would give you so essentially you're saying runner shoes is six percent of the total sales and so the total just ignores each of the dimension and instead gives you the entire sum of it but total does not exclude selections now you have total 23000 but if i select here i won't i only want to see the total for 2014 then the total changes so in 2014 there's only 1300 so the total ignores the dimensions but it accepts the selections so that is what total does so in this case what we have selected a year and now what we're saying is that um patrimonia fleece jacket is 5.36 percent of the total sales for 2014 so totally ignores dimension accepts the selections now let's go to all what does all do now regardless of what you have selected all ignores your dimension here and all ignores your selection too so when you looked at the total that was twenty three thousand, and you see that 23,891 is for each line just as total but if I select something here then the total changes because total considers the selection but what all does is it ignores your dimension and it also ignores the selection so here essentially what we are saying is runner shoes is 2.2 percent of all sales for all years across all the products and that is what all gives you all ignores the selections and all ignores the dimensions as well and all is nothing but bracket one total bracket one total gives you the same uh, values as all so you could use either of them now what does bracket one do let's take this away now bracket one is bracket one here if you see is not the same as total instead 
it's calculating the sum of sales for each product because it's considering all the dimensions. But now if I select a year, you see that this one doesn't change. So let's look at runner shoes here, 1445. And I make a selection here, let's say 2013. And we look at runner shoes, 1445. So basically what bracket one does is it does the opposite of total. So it takes into account each of the dimension, but it ignores the selection. So in total, you're ignoring the dimension and taking in the selection, but in bracket one, you're ignoring the selection, but you're considering the dimension. So let's take this away now. And you know that for all years, for all years, runner shoes is 1445 and regardless of what I select it's going to take in it's going to remain the same and why that is helpful well if you if I want to look at the percentages of runner shoes for all sales of only runner shoes so here I've taken 2012 so I want to see in 2012 what was my percentage compared to how much of runner shoes I sold for all the other years. Well, it's 36%. And that's where bracket one comes into help. So I hope this was helpful. I know that it's a little bit complicated. Uh, we can go much deeper. For example, in total, you could go inside and say, ignore some selections that I make uh, in a set expression, and then you would still get the total, but ignoring those dimensions. And uh, you could do the same for dollar one as well, uh, or bracket one as well. So I hope this was kind of helpful. I have a file here that actually helps you look at how all of these different functions work. And it is super interactive. So you can see your different categories here, and uh, that's your dimensions and then the calculations and how that changes. And you can also make selections here and look at how your different calculation changes based on a selection that you've made, how does it look for each KPI, and how does it look if you have dimensions uh, in a chart. So I think that this would be super helpful for you all to understand. Um, I'll have a link for that down below. Please check it out. Um, Please sign up for my newsletter down. Uh, I'm working on a course which is going to be super in-depth uh, where I go into each and every function and uh, try to help you all understand ClickSense a little bit better. And uh, if you're interested, link down below. Sign up for it. Hope it was helpful. See you in the next one. Peace.